Hey guys, uh, we're heading into fall and uh, my bike's been sitting for a couple weeks and it's having a hard time starting. Makes me wonder when do I need to replace my battery? We're on that in a second. So as I was just saying, bike's been sitting for a few weeks. It's all tarped up behind me because we're uh, getting into fall and the riding days are questionable. So my, my dilemma on when do when do you need to replace a battery? Now, if you've seen some of the other videos, uh, you see the, the big toolbox that I have in the background. The problem is I don't have a multimeter and I hate electricity. Um, so I just don't have that stuff. It's something that I'll plan on getting here soon, but the question is, if you're like me and most riders where you take, um, you know, you just get on your bike and you go, um, many of you take your bike in to get serviced and have it worked on, but it still doesn't prevent you from having the problem. When, when does your battery need to re be replaced? Because most of the time we just get on and go until it doesn't go anymore. Um, I'm trying to, to kind of get back to working on mine and spinning my wrench own wrenches a little bit. But back to the question when should you replace your battery for most of us you're going to notice that the bike is starting differently um, most of the videos that i see on on youtube um, have people whipping out these battery testers and multimeters and testing volts and all that good stuff which that's all great you can check out those videos for that my video this video is more for the common person who doesn't have the big toolbox or they don't have the ohms meter but what you're going to notice is that you're going to notice that the bike is starting to start differently you're going to have that little doubt in the back of your mind maybe it's just a slight hesitation maybe it's cranking over a little bit harder um, that's the first indicator and, and the best indicator on when you should probably be looking at doing something different with your battery buddy's house and then it's not like you're going to be at a spot uh, and around a parking lot somewhere where you're going to whoop out an ohms meter to check the volts on your on your bike. What you will notice though is the bike starting to turn over differently than the way it has before. Now, if your bike is new or if you're buying a used bike, this should you should already check the battery before you're you're off riding it a lot. But if you've had the bike for a while, that's going to be your best indicator. With with mine, um, I didn't realize that the first year or two that I had it. Um, if I let it set too long without putting it on a trickle charger, um, the battery goes dead completely. And the reason for that is because I think mine's one of the first years that, that Harley put the EFI on. And for whatever reason, there's a constant draw on, on the battery. It's just ever so slight, but it needs to be recharged or at least put on a trickle charger. So I check out yours, Google that information, talk to the mechanics at a bike dealership or talk to the, talk to the dealership about that. It's not a big deal. You just make make uh make the proper adjustments and move forward but the biggest key again is that your bike will start to uh, act differently when you poke the start button mine it hesitates a little bit and and as it gets worse you'll it, it, the crank will it'll uh, act very similar to a car now if the battery gets down too low obviously it'll do the click like a car does um but i think that this is a little bit of a better indicator and pulling out your ohms meter again because most people don't have that um, you know and it's probably a good idea to make uh, checking your battery uh, a regular thing when you're doing your bike maintenance anyway so check it when you uh, get it out for the season check it mid-season check it at the end of the year too before you put it away um, maybe doing the load testers uh, a good idea I don't know how much those things are but an ohms meter I think is about 15 to 25 bucks um, again, that's something that I plan on getting you know, with, with, uh, for, for, for myself so that I can regularly test my battery and I get familiar with my bike again. The other thing that you need to be aware of with your bike is that it may start hard, but it could also be starting hard as a product of the temperature outside. So when this happens, um, you know, I know that with the, the oil that I have to put in my bike, it's very thick. That's going to, you know, it's not going to turn over as easy as the, as the crank comes down and scoops up a lot of that, uh, 
a lot of that oil, the oil's not going to move very easily and the parts are not going to move very easily because they're very, very cold, obviously. So that could be another reason. Um, so if the bike's been sitting uh, outside overnight or out in the cold on a, on a full fall day or winter day, um, that could be a reason why it's starting hard. So, you know, there's not going to be nothing like experience when you uh, kind of get in and start your bike several times after or before several rides. So hope that helps. Um, you know, rewind this and kind of watch the beginning part of it. And the minute that you have an inclination that the bike is starting differently, then it's time to check your battery. So that's where you pull out the ohms meter or take it back to the dealership. So I hope that helps. We'll uh, chat again later. Hit the subscribe, smash the bell. Uh, this is Bosco. We'll talk again soon.